Areas across the South have higher rates of colon cancer than up north. A lot of people are quick to point to diet as the main cause, but one local researcher says that it goes a lot deeper than that. In fact, it could have been determined long before you were even born. Our health reporter Haley Hernandez joins us live now with this new discovery. Haley? Chris, as a matter of fact, she says that your mother's health when she was pregnant with you could determine your risk for colorectal cancer. UT researchers are studying chronic conditions in neighborhoods across our area. They say neighborhoods like this one, Oak Forest near TC Jester, have a lower rate of people getting screened for colon cancer, which means they wouldn't be as successful treating it if someone were to get diagnosed. Being born to an overweight mother can lead to an increased risk of colorectal cancer in her child's life. Typically, we think of this as a cancer that only occurs in older adults, but over maybe the last 10 years or so, we've seen the rates steadily and somewhat alarmingly increase. New research from Caitlin Murphy, associate professor at UT Health, links maternal obesity to the risk of developing colorectal cancer, which is expected to kill 53,000 Americans by the end of the year. And every year, the patients getting diagnosed are getting younger. Most people are quick to blame unhealthy diets, no doubt a big factor in health, but Murphy says her research shows your mother's health played a bigger role than they ever imagined. And it's people who are born in about Generation X that seem to have the highest rate of colorectal cancer. And when we see these generational effects, it tells us that factors in early life, so think of things like childhood, infancy, and even things that might happen in the womb, are really important risk factors and right away she was able to make the connection between a mother's weight at the beginning of pregnancy and how often the unborn baby would grow up to develop colon cancer. The rates are increasing and increasing with the newer generation so we see the same thing happening with millennials and we'll probably see the same thing happening in future generations like Gen Z. Now she says that those rates are going to continue to increase because she's studying pregnant women from the 1950s and their offspring. Back then, obesity was only about 8% of mothers. Now Dr. Linder, who studies neighborhoods and their chronic condition patterns, says that, for example, right here in Oak Forest, 40% of the people are obese. So it's definitely a lot more common nowadays. Reporting live, I'm Haley Hernandez, KPRC 2 News.